The program includes the most basic essential settings. For example, you can change the resolution by clicking this drop down menu and choosing one of these three options. First, I want to thank you guys for 100 subscribers. It's been a while and it took me so long, but I finally managed to reach this small milestone. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Xenia, the Xbox 360 emulator, is a pretty simple emulator to install and run, but it's a bit less straightforward to configure than most of the popular emulators out there. While most emulators have their settings accessible through a graphical interface, Xenia has a config file where you'll be able to configure Xenia. So that's why I decided to make a user interface for configuring Xenia. This UI is actually the first ever program that I've coded. You can download the program from the link in the description. Just bear in mind some anti-malware softwares may consider the executable file as a trojan. That's basically because um, I converted the the original Python code to an executable file, so that's why some uh, antiviruses may consider this a, a threat, but I guarantee you it's safety. Before running the UI, make sure you have already opened Xenia once, so that the config file would be created. Now you want to place the executable file next to your Xenia. Bear in mind that you should pick the right build for Xenia. If it's the master build, pick the master editor. And if it's Xenia Canary, pick the Canary Editor. The program includes the most basic essential settings. For example, you can change the resolution by clicking this drop-down menu and choosing one of these three options. There's also another important drop-down menu for setting your input device. There are also checkboxes including vSync and apply patches. Other settings are available that are more technical but essential for most games. Xenia's GitHub page has a repository called Wiki. And if you go to the options page, you can see all of the essential settings that are more common when configuring a game. I've basically put all of these settings in the user interface. Although, keep in mind that this is the first release of this program and all of its coding is done by myself and uh, if it is well received by you guys, I'm definitely going to add other tabs and more options like keyboard inputs and other advanced tabs. So after you've changed the settings, click on the save config button to apply your changes. There is also another button for reverting the settings to the default configuration. Just click back to default and all the settings will be set to default. Now you'll just have to save the config. If you want to know more about each one of these options that I included in the user interface, you can check Xenia's wiki repository in the GitHub page. I'll put the link to it in the description below.